What are the things you look forward to when you are pregnant? Very often, it's the arrival of your precious little one, the first cuddle, his or her first smile, education plans, and holiday trips. The last or least things that cross your mind will be your precious little one becoming seriously ill. Today, through the advancement of science and innovation, we are able to store our baby's cord blood, which contains stem cells, for future use if the need ever arises. Stem cells are a class of undifferentiated cells which are commonly known as master cells. Stem cells can differentiate into specialized cells that form the brain, nerves, muscles, and other body parts. It also has the unique ability to multiply itself in large numbers. There are mainly two types of naturally occurring stem cells found in a human body, which are found in the umbilical cord. They are hematopoietic stem cells, HSCs, and the mesenchymal stem cells, MSCs. HSCs that are found in the cord blood, bone marrow, and peripheral blood are multipotent stem cells that have the potential to differentiate mainly into blood components, such as red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, etc. Stem cells can be obtained from various stages of human development, which includes fetal, infant, and adult stage. Among all the sources, the infant stem cells are the most primitive form, without any controversial or ethical issue concerns. Cord blood is simply the blood that is left remaining in the umbilical cord upon the birth of a child. Cord blood is rich in hematopoietic stem cells, HSCs. In the past, the umbilical cord is regarded as a medical waste. Today, HSCs can be used to treat nearly 80 types of diseases, including leukemia, thalassemia, blood disorder, and several immune system disorders. Statistically, there are more than 35,000 transplants performed globally. HSCs transplant work as a rescue therapy, where the immune system of the patient is rebuilt after receiving high dosage of chemotherapy or radiotherapy, which destroys the cancerous and healthy cells at the same time. The matching of the cord blood is 100% for the baby. The chances of a match between siblings are 25% whereas between parents and children are 50%. The collection of cord blood is simple, quick, and painless. Upon delivery, the doctor will clamp the umbilical cord, cut the cord, and separate the baby. A needle will then be inserted into vein of the umbilical cord while waiting for the placenta to be detached from the mother. The blood from the umbilical cord will flow into the collection bag within five minutes via gravity without interfering or complicating the delivery process. The cord blood collected will be transported to CryoCord's state-of-the-art CGMP certified laboratory for processing. Subsequently, the cord blood will be stored in a single cryo bag or multiple cryo vials. Unlike cryobag storage, storing in several cryo vials allows potential multiple usage in the future. Finally, the cord blood will be cryopreserved in ultra-low temperature, negative 190 degrees Celsius liquid nitrogen storage tank to ensure they are preserved for a long period of time.